What's the world? This is your boy, your one and only Money Moves with your boy, Mim 2.0. On this YouTube channel, every day we strive for financial excellence so you guys can live a better and prosperous financially free tomorrow. As you guys know, on this YouTube channel, we talk a lot about a multitude of different topics from vlogs, current events, your city to my city, credit, how to use debt as leverage, how to acquire different types of loans without using the traditional banks, how to acquire real estate, the non-traditional way, money and relationships. We mainly talk about relationships on this YouTube channel because every man knows that who he chooses to have an intimate sexual relationship with will have a high impact on his soon-to-be financial status. So guys, the topic of today's video, we're going to be talking about how um, most of the majority of inner city black males do not want to work a job, but everybody want to get rich. So, um, before we get in this video, I just want to shout everybody out. You know, so all my subscribers, I appreciate you guys, all the haters also who stop through and leave their little petty comments and get ate up in the comments. I appreciate you guys too. Now. If you haven't yet subscribed, if you're enjoying this content, hit that subscribe button. If you want to support this YouTube channel, you guys can. I'm going to leave a link to my cash out in the description below. So let's get straight into the music. So, working. Working the job. It's, it's a concern to me that, you know, in the inner, inner cities, Around the country, I'm seeing more and more black men who are posted up in front of 7-Eleven gas stations, you know what I'm saying, posted up in front of stores, asking for change, um, not only asking for change, I'm seeing a lot of more young brothers, middle-aged brothers, older brothers, homeless. I'm saying I'm homeless, and I'm saying that a lot of these guys, you know, it's, uh, they don't want to work. I'm like, I have guys in the comments who come in the comments, you know, black man who'll be like, jobs not for me and stuff like that. You know, if you guys got a better way of making money, then leave a comment. You know what I'm saying? Leave a comment, share it so we all can learn this. You know, because what I'm saying is, is that the way that the majority of black men is headed, you know what I'm saying? The, the, where they're headed, they're headed to a lifetime of poverty, a poor selection of, one, of women, because you don't have no type of concrete righteous plan selling drugs and stuff. That's not, you know what I'm saying? Selling crack and. All that, that's nothing. You know what I'm saying? Most good women, beautiful feminine women, don't want to be around with stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it's concerning me that I'm seeing more and more black men opting out of the job race, the job market. They do not want to work. Let me say, they do not want to work. Uh, I will go back let's see, about five, six, seven years ago when I didn't want to work myself, I was lost in the sauce as well, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I didn't really have no direction. I kind of knew what I wanted to do, and I always hustled and stuff, but I, I used to be like, I used to sit back. I might sell headphones, order a boat, you know what I'm saying? Sell water, sodas and stuff, all different types of things. You know what I'm saying? All around entrepreneur, and I'm like, I'm not even making five hundred, a thousand dollars a week. You know what I'm saying? So what the, a lot of these guys don't understand is, is that when you work it, when you're working a job, and you're putting your time on a job, then that job is going to pay you accordingly to what your pay is. You know what I'm saying? The best thing I think a young black man can do in the beginning stages of wealth is find some type of company that's cool, that's, you know what I'm saying, 
if you don't like to be bothered like that, you know what I'm saying, whatever, like figure out what you like, what you don't like about working, and then sit there and get that money every week or every two weeks, bi-weekly, every week. And if you want to temp every day, it has been times I went to a temp every day. And, you know, I went to a temp service every day. And money, money, every day, every day, you know. So what's happening is a lot of you black men, you guys don't have a, a, a lot of you guys don't have a, a clear understanding of what you're doing like most of you guys blow in the wind you know like the like, come on, i've been there i've been in the streets i've been in the streets you know so memphis i'm from memphis i've been in the streets of atl i've been in the streets of houston texas um i've been in the streets of tampa you know orlando you know what i'm saying i've been in multiple different environments where i'm saying you know what I'm saying? I'm saying more guys complain. More guys complain. You know what I'm saying? More guys complain. Oh, this too high. Oh, I can't afford that. Oh, I can't do this and that. And then, then you have the guys who be asking for money and stuff from people. You see the working guys who be working and they be acting broke and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because it's okay to act broke. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to act broke. Because nine times out of ten, I didn't get it at first. You don't want to let this is an A conversation, meaning I'm a man and I have my goals and I'm working, whatever I'm working for, whatever I'm getting, whatever type of money I'm getting. That's me. You know what I'm saying? So nine times out of ten, like a person who's working a job is not going to tell you exactly like, oh, they'd be like, oh, I'm broke, I'm broke, you know, so, which a lot of guys do be broke because they don't, a lot of guys have jobs and don't have, know how to manage money, you know, but you got to, you got to think proactively. And when I say think proact proactively, I'm thinking that, okay, I do not make such and such every week. I do not make three times the rent, you know what I'm saying, by myself. I don't make three times the rent. But what I could do is I could go get a job and then make three times the rent and save on the side and then build myself up to a point where I don't, one day I might not even need to ever work again. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference between these guys who don't want to, you know what I'm saying? A lot of you, you black guys, you guys need to go to work, man. You know what I'm saying? Go to work until you can make something else with work that works for you. You see? You see? That's the difference between the two. You have a black man that works a job. You have a black man that works a job, saves his money, manages his money, learns, and grows. Then you have the other guy who thinks jobs ain't nothing, ain't about to listen to nobody. I got a bad attitude. These guys end up in jail, dead, homeless, you know what I'm saying, on the corner, asking for change, drugged out, and stuff like that. So you got to decide what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? If you want to play the victim, you play the victim. But every man got to go to work and go to work and shine on that job and get that money. You know what I'm saying? They get that money and make it work. But guys, that's all I got for this video. Man, make sure you guys subscribe. Stay subscribed to this YouTube channel. Uh, leave some comments. Let me know what you feel. Um, this your boy, your one and only money moves with your boy Mill 2.0. We're point live in an undisclosed location. And the city knew you over and out.